your eyes Get some rest Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I'll talk more about them later, but I wanted to let you know that for a limited time, you can use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. A few months ago, I finished filling up an art journal that I had been working on for a while, and I haven't really done any art journaling since then, but I decided it was about time to start a new one, so I headed on a walk to my local art supply shop to pick out a new sketchbook. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. I decided to go with a small pocket sized sketchbook just because it's a little less intimidating than a big sketchbook. My goal is to work in this pretty regularly and fill the whole thing up so that I have this journal that I can flip through and look back on. I love art journaling because it's a way to document life around me so I can come back later and see what was inspiring me or what was happening in the world that was influencing my art at the time. It's like a little time capsule. The beauty of an art journal is that there are no rules. You can fill it with anything you want. You can tear out a photo from a magazine and glue it to a page and call it done, or you could bring out your pencils and paints and create some elaborate piece of art. Art journaling is a really great way to develop your skill as an artist. I had an art professor back in college who told us that all art really is, is making a series of decisions, one decision after the other. He always encouraged us not to get stuck in indecision. If we couldn't figure out what to do next with our art piece, we just had to do something, anything, and just not dwell on if it was a good or bad decision. You just have to keep moving forward and the path will be revealed as you go along. He also required that we keep a sketchbook and make daily entries in it, even if it was just scribbling a few ideas or testing some paint swatches. This just helps you to get more used to making decisions. And being a quote unquote good artist really only means that you're getting better at making decisions. Your taste becomes more refined and you tend to come up with more and better original ideas. So if you start an art journal, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Try any and all ideas that you have. Collect everything that's inspiring you and put it in your journal. Let your mind wander and don't put limits on yourself. There are no wrong decisions in art. You only find new ways of creating that you hadn't thought of before. I want to take a quick intermission to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people like you and I who have an interest in a variety of topics like illustration or design or photography, even freelancing and small business tips. When you join Skillshare and become a member, you have unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes on topics like these, and you get hands-on projects to really start diving into learning these skills. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I recently took a class called Visual Journaling, Drawing Your Feelings by the artist Jordan Sondler. This class actually inspired me to get back into my art journal and make this video. My favorite thing that she said about working on your art and practicing in your sketchbook is, 
instead of waiting for inspiration to strike, you're just jumping in and finding it. Her class is the perfect place to start if you don't quite know what to do with a blank page when you get a new sketchbook, so I'll have it linked down below if you would like to check it out. And for a limited time, you can use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. This is a great opportunity for you to see everything they have to offer, so I hope you have fun getting inspired by the incredible classes. Now back to my art journal spread that I was working on. I was really inspired by this quote by William Wordsworth, and I was kind of creating a collage that centered around this quote. It says, come forth into the light of things, let nature be your teacher. I'm always really inspired by nature, so I was really trying to bring in some of those elements into this spread. I just found pictures from magazines that kind of represented the theme that I was going for. Then I had this blank space that I didn't quite know what to do with. I didn't want to fill it with more pieces of paper because I felt like the collage was already taking up enough visual space. So I decided to bring out my paints and do some little paintings of clouds. I wanted to add even more texture to this and since I hadn't done any drawing on this page I decided to take my pen and just draw a few lines and dots and things like that to add some texture to it. And this is my finished spread. It's not the most incredible piece of art there ever was, but that's not the point of an art journal. I had fun making this and I'm excited to continue working in this and fill up this little book and have this to look back and see all of my inspirations from this time in my life. I hope this inspired you to bring out your sketchbook and feel like you have the freedom to do anything and try any new ideas that you have. So have fun working in your art journal. I'll see you guys next time.